Hey YouTube, Jim here. Welcome to Top 10 Archive. Sometimes I look at how funny kids are nowadays, and I can't imagine how they got to be so creative. These kids figured out how to beat the system and crack us up in the process. Are these the exact type of stories you need in your life? Well, then sit back and relax and enjoy our compilation of the Top 10 Kids Who Beat the System. But before we get started, why not become an archivist today by clicking that subscribe button and notification bell so you don't miss out on any future uploads. If you end up enjoying this video, let us know by giving it a thumbs up and tell us in the comment section if you ever beat the system. Number 10. 100% Believable What to do when the teacher takes away your phone and your parents said the next time it happened, they wouldn't come to get it for you? Well, everyone always said you looked like your mom, so why not take full advantage of that? This kid dressed up like his mom, wig and all, and showed up to school to pick up his phone. I'm not going to lie, this is one of the best efforts I've seen, and I support his endeavor 100%. If I were that office assistant, who from the photos looks less than impressed, I'd let it slide. Number 9. Not One Foot Nothing teaches you to watch your words like having children. From not another word, resulting in a lot of random syllables being screamed at you, to don't set a foot outside, resulting in this. Look at the attention to detail. He is carefully stopped right at the door and right at the ankle, keeping from breaking the rule both relating to the foot and the outside. If there were Olympics for beating the system, this kid would be a crowd favorite. You know he's a kid who looks obstacles in the eye and finds his way around them. Number 8. Seedless Limitations are all in your head, which is basically what each of these kids is teaching us in today's video. The next kid heard, we don't have seedless grapes, at the grocery store, picked up a bag of regular ones, and made do. See, you don't have to ever make contact with the seeds, it turns out. You can just eat more grapes halfway. Bet you never thought of this one, huh? Number 7. Outside Kids don't get nearly enough time outside. Parents just look back and forth from the beautiful unused yard to the child sitting in front of the computer playing games thinking, why? When we were younger, we played outside, that's all. Most kids brush parents off thinking we don't get it. This kid though, he saw the potential. He knew the power of his parents' Wi-Fi and he took that show on the road. Check him out. He's doing it. He's outside. He's playing outside. Bravo, kid! Number 6. Alphabetical Order Listen, to this day I don't see the point in alphabetical order. Once you know your ABCs, that should be a chapter you're done with and you should be able to move on to more interesting and important options for education. Having to rearrange words in alphabetical order, more than anything, is just a sign that your teacher didn't know what to do that day in class and knew this would take some time. Perhaps she didn't quite figure that her students would take it this seriously. What I wonder is what would have taken more time, the original assignment or what this kid chose to do. Not sure if it's a win. Number 5. If you can't beat them, cheat them. If you saw your kid take shortcuts to just finish the job, you'd probably think one of two things. You could be concerned that they'll be lazy and will never want to do anything for themselves, or you could think that they're going to be geniuses. They're going to be the kids who think outside the box and make things easier for everyone around them. This kid is probably not old enough for us to test this theory on, but for now, we could watch how flustered he gets at how things are done and how quickly he finds a way around the whole thing. Number 4. Curiosity Enlightened the Cat Listen, curiosity is the source of all good things. All inventions, shortcuts, and practical things in life come from someone thinking, there's got to be a better way. Just like this kid, who knew there had to be something fun in the drawer with the lock on it. No boring drawer has a lock, so they thought long and hard. What could possibly work to see what's in that drawer without damaging anything? Light bulb moment and problem solved. At least if you're the kid's parent, you know that they're going to be just fine, even if they just found your deepest, darkest secret. Number 3. And still got an A. 
We've all been there, halfway through an essay and you ask yourself, I bet the teacher has stopped reading at this point. This kid put that theory to the test with this masterpiece. In all honesty, I am already bored with this topic. It is far less interesting than I had hoped, and I really don't want to finish this essay. I'm fairly certain you don't read these, so I'm going to put enough words down to make it seem like I wrote a lot while I kill time. He goes on to write, Ah, dude, you know what has lime in it? Sprite. It's like lemon lime. I could really go for one of those about now, but not Sierra Mist. That isn't the same. It tries too hard to be Sprite, but it just can't pull it off. It should be just itself and stop trying to measure up to other sodas. Whether or not the teacher actually read his rant is besides the point. He deserved that A. Number 2. DIY Hammock As a kid, I always wanted to build all sorts of structures and forts just to lay in them and hang out. This little girl definitely took hang out to its fullest potential and created the best TV watching experience for herself, all with at-home materials. She had everything right in front of her and it worked. Childhood me applauds her and hopes that she continued to pursue her fort making career going forward. The top bunk is the limit. Number one, use a strategy you have learned. Again, with the dodgy directions, teachers learn your lesson. When you give a child tools, you best believe they're going to use them. When this teacher wrote, use the tools you've learned, this child took the tools right in front of them. Logical thinking, if half the dozen roses are red, using their brain and the tools they learned, they most certainly know that half the roses are not red. If they didn't get this answer correctly, I don't know what schools are even teaching. Thanks for watching. Kids are amazing. How did you beat the system as a kid? Let us know in the comments. Be sure to use the simple tools on this page to subscribe to the channel, click the bell for notifications whenever we upload a new video, give this video a like if it made you smile, and be sure to share it with your friends.